to the Adamant Temple. I'm Dan Mack, and I'm just here to give you an update about what's been going on for the last two months or so. Uh, first, I want to say hello to my new subscribers. Um, a couple of people who I don't actually know personally have subscribed to my channel, and uh, I want to say thank you, and I hope I entertain you in some way. Um, now, in my last video, I had mentioned um, Recreational Warfare, which was currently only up to Castle Crashers. Um, I finished posting that since then and moved on to posting Metal Slug 3 and Bomberman Live. Um, I don't have anything in the works right now for another episode of it. Um, I have I have a plan for what I want to play. I, I, I just gotta get my friends together and, and record something because uh, as you can see from the cast questions video, the sound quality recording through Xbox Live doesn't sound so good, and uh, you know we're all busy people, so I don't get to see my friends all that often to record something. Um, the Smash Brothers episode actually wasn't going to be released because I didn't like it at first, but then I just said screw it, you know, figured throw it up there. So that's up there now, um, and there's nothing in the works at the moment, but there will be something sometime later. Um, my Digital Rain videos, um, I've since posted, I believe, 1.2 and 3. Uh, 1.3, as you may have noticed, came a little late. The, April 1st was the day I was supposed to post it. Thankfully, that was April Fool's Day, so I posted a, a joke video and spent the following week trying to get it done. Um, and it ended up being a lot longer than I was expecting, but, um... It, it's up now, um, and unfortunately, because of the fact that I spent the first week of the month working on that, and then other things happened during the month, my next Digital Rain video, 1.4, will be very light. It's actually mostly um, me carrying over goals from the previous month into this current month, because I, uh, I actually lost a lot of time due to actually what I'm about to talk about next, which is the Back to the Future riff track. Um, when I posted the trailer, I told, like I said, it was supposed to be done in February. Um, <clears throat> I decided a long time ago that um, I wanted to have a screening party. We finished it. You know, me and Pat have a bunch of our friends over. We set up our set up a room and just play it for everybody, or do it live if we were not prepared at the time. Um, so. Thinking that we were pretty much set to do it, set to record and everything, I set up the party um, for April the 13th. We didn't record until maybe April 8th because I had to get over to his, his house to record. Um, and we just didn't, you know, when we when we mean to hang out and, and, and write this thing, we're like, yeah, let's get on it. And then we ended up watching, you know, a whole bunch of Nostalgia Critic episodes. So we... are that's how we roll. Um, so I had five days to edit it, and um, what we ended up showing at the screening party wasn't even complete. It was roughly 90% done. There was a point toward the end where it all cuts off, and there's no jokes, and then it kind of comes back in with just Pat's lines. Um, but regardless of that, the product that we did show came out really good. We are actually very, very pleased with it. Um, but I also said afterward that I will not look at it for another two weeks, three weeks or so. So right now, what I have on the computer for that riff track is exactly how it was shown that day. I haven't touched it. I haven't looked at it. I haven't wanted to think about it because we were. I was editing it right up until about half an hour before we aired it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm sitting there cooking pizza for everybody while trying to edit this thing. It was it was pretty stressful. Um, so I just haven't felt like touching it. Um, I'll probably get to it starting next week, and uh, when we fin when I finish it, I'll be posting it up on RiffTracks.com for sale. I, I think they they sell them for like ninety nine cents, fan made ones for ninety nine cents on RiffTracks.com. So you'll be able to find it there. I'll probably release a uh, a release trailer when the thing comes out and try to pull out some of the best jokes and whatnot. Um, so that should be coming in the next few weeks. Um, I'm sure you noticed that I keep saying I'm going to do all these different things, top five list and arcade of futility, all this kind of stuff. Um, I have a lot of it written. It's just not, you know, it's, it's a matter of finding the time to, to 
either record it for the arcade of futility or to really hammer home my point for a top five list because this is something that, you know, you gotta really give a reason why you, you vote them as a top five. So I'm really trying to get my thoughts together and, and put it down perfectly. But um, that's taken a lot longer than I was expecting. <clears throat> and plus I got a lot of things going on right now. Um, I have to finish documenting my music collection. I actually, my, my vinyl collection this past month, or two has tripled. I used to have somewhere around 60, and now I've got somewhere around 180, 200 plus. Um, I my family cleaned out my my grandmother's house um, recently and found like four boxes of old old records. So I got all those, and I got like 20 to 30 from uh, from my future uh, in-laws. So those are sitting on the side somewhere. I have to you know get dust jackets and. and document everything. So that's going to be taking up a lot of my time. I also have to sit there and, and back up my entire CD collection, which is you know, 1,700 plus CDs. Uh, I get it all on my iPod because I need to have stuff to listen to when I'm riding my bike. Um, and I have to... Um, in the last two, three years, uh, I've kind of dropped off with with my awareness of new music coming out. I've been trying to get back into it you know, with, with doing the whole lighter shade of black music reviews, but it's not gone very well. So I'm trying to redo my, my Wanda music section, figure out who's making albums, what's coming out, and and uh, be more aware of, of the music scene right now. And uh, I'm trying to find time to do that. Um, so I'm going to need a little bit of time to start figuring things out and reading a bit of a little bit of news and uh, reviews and other things. Um, I did, however, pick up New Soil Work. I was going to do a review on that. Um, I picked it up from Best Buy for like seven dollars or something, and yesterday I picked up the new Stone Sour, but I haven't heard it yet. It's still sitting in my backpack from when I rode home last night. So, uh, considering writing a review for the two albums put together, the uh, House of Bones and Gold Parts One and Two, considering, I doubt I'll do it because I'm fucking lazy. Um, but I have a feeling that the first one I'll actually wholeheartedly get to the first music review I'll wholeheartedly get to is going to be Black Sabbath's new album 13. Um, I love Sabbath. They're, they're not necessarily my favorite band, but I love them. I love every incarnation of them, or most of them from what I've heard. Um, but I figured that that's one that I have enough history on, enough knowledge of, and enough of a, uh, I guess, a, a bias, maybe, to be able to look at it and then objectively say, okay, this, this this could be better, this could be worse, you know. So that'll probably be the one that I first really look into, and that may be the next uh, letter sheet of black I do. Um, I think with that, um, that's it. I really uh, just want to give an update, and I actually have to get back to working on the new Digital Rain video, because I've got five days to release it. Um, but yeah, you can expect all the things I said. Um, Back to the Future Rip Track coming out soon. Um, new digital, digital Rain, possibly a music review. Everything else is kind of in the works, kind of taking a back burner to the things that I want to do. Things that I gotta <clears throat> prepare around here, gotta make some space, sell off some stuff, uh, prepare for school stuff, which is a long story. So that's that. Uh, again, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. You can check out my uh, my Twitter username Novus Redemptor, or you can follow me on Tumblr now actually. Uh, which my Tumblr name is Adam Ann Stamplin. So, uh, either way, follow, and uh, again, thank you for watching. I bid you adieu.